Problem 91 says to consider the flasks in the following diagram. So here's my somewhat badly drawn rendition of uh, the diagram in 91. What are the final partial pressures of hydrogen um, and nitrogen gas? After the stopcock between the two flasks is opened, and it says to assume the final uh, total volume of this combined system is three liters. It also asks what the total pressure is. So the partial pressure of each gas and then the total pressure. So because of the, um, the inverse relationship between pressure and volume um, of a gas, we can use this relationship P1V1 equals P2V2 to determine initial pressure of a gas and the final pressure when either, um, or the volume when either of these uh, changes. So what we would do here is the initial um, or the P1V1 comes from the gas's initial state and so that's when these two vials or these two flasks are separated. Um, so the pressure one here would be 475 torr if we're talking about hydrogen and the initial volume would be two liters. And now what the problem says is that we should assume that the final total volume of the system is three liters once the stopcock here is opened. So in this way, we can solve for P2, which gives us 317 torr. So once this is open and the two flask spaces are combined, the pressure of hydrogen gas is 317 torr. We can do the same thing for nitrogen over here, where we're starting out with 0.2 atmospheres. And just to simplify things across these two sets of numbers, we can go ahead and convert to Tor. We know that we have initial volume of one liter. And then our final volume, like over here, is three liters. So that gives us a final pressure for nitrogen then of 50.7, or oops. Fifty point seven tor. And then if we add these two together, that gives us a total pressure of 368 tor for this system.